The morning rush off the water. Commuters making their way from the ferry to work in Lower Manhattan, hoping when they return to Pier 11 to head home, it will be a much smoother sail than yesterday. Oh, it was mayhem. It was just chaos all over. Ferry riders were frustrated at the overcrowding and what seemed to be too few ferries along the East River. This Rockaway resident says it took almost double time to get on a boat and get home. When they know it's the holidays, you just add a few more boats and ease the the, the people that, that take it on a daily basis. He, like many others, blamed the beautiful spring day paired with spring break and a lot of kids being off from school. For all the tourists take the ferry because it's a great way to spend $2.75 right around on the water. NYC Ferry took to Twitter to alert riders due to larger than usual passenger volume, delays or disruption may occur on all routes. The Citizens Budget Commission tweeted in response to ferry delays, a reminder that its ridership is highly seasonal, peaking during warm months. The nonprofit backing up that claim with this graphic. Unlike other ferry patterns in the area on the left, to the right are the more extreme variations on the NYC ferries, showing peaks in the summer months, falling drastically during the winter, and spiking again when it gets warm. The group says, quote, the high rate of leisure travel suggests the city can charge higher fares for occasional riders to offset costs. But the city says 87% of riders are commuters. A spokesperson says, hang tight. A more frequent summer schedule is only a few weeks away. Until Memorial Day weekend, we're operating on a spring schedule, which means boats run every 30 to 60 minutes, depending on the routes. Jenna DeAngelis reporting, and the city tells us when a new summer schedule begins Memorial Day weekend, ferries will run every 20 minutes, and more workers will be on hand to direct crowds.